AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, passion for excellence. Here are today's top headlines. Chrysler could be profitable by 2012. New roof crush standards could cost the automakers a fortune. And Chevy is swinging for the fences with its redesigned Inquinox. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Tuesday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, 2009. Hello, everyone. I'm Murray Feldman, and for John, he's out of town on business, or at least that's what he told us. And now the news. Chrysler may be slogging its way through bankruptcy, but it remains optimistic about the future. The Wall Street Journal reporting that in documents it presented to the court, the company predicts that it can earn a profit by 2012. Chrysler lost almost $17 billion last year if it can quickly ally with fiat and emerge from bankruptcy, profits may not be far behind. I feel very confident that uh, we're funded going in. We know where we want to come out. Uh, I think we'll be able to work through the final bank issues. And if we can get out of this in 30 to 60 days and emerge uh, you know, with some of the debt behind us, and uh, we basically come out with only the new debt that the government has given us, uh, we get rid of a lot of liabilities and uh, we come out the other side probably as lean and, and vibrant and uh, agile as a company can in, in light of the, uh, the adversity that we're facing. Chrysler is hopeful about the future, but this year is still going to be very tough. It predicts that it will lose $4.7 billion in 2009, but the company projects that it will make $100 million in 2012, $1.6 billion by 2013. April car sales for Chrysler, abysmal. The company only sold 76,000 new vehicles, down 27% from just the month before. The only vehicles selling in volume at Chrysler right now are the minivans, the Ram pickup, and its Jeep line. And even they're not selling that well. According to the latest data available from Wards, Chrysler has over 80 days of inventory. And while those inventory levels are coming down, it looks like the company's sales are slowing down even faster. And that suggests that there will be more plant closings this summer as the company tries to trim its inventory. UAW President Ron Gettelfinger says that the union has no intention of keeping its 55% stake in Chrysler and plans to sell the stock as soon as possible. According to the AP, the shares will be used to fund retiree health care costs. The union's health care trust currently has $1.5 billion and will receive another $300 million from the company next year. But the total retiree health care obligation is $11 billion. Gettlefinger warned that additional cuts may be necessary to help fund the trust. Last week, we reported the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration announced new roof strength standards for vehicles. According to the Detroit News, this is going to raise the cost of new cars by $1.4 billion annually. The new regulation will add $54 in new design costs and another $15 to $65 in annual fuel cost due to the added weight. The new standards are also expected to save 135 lives and prevent more than 1,000 injuries annually. Fuel economy, a top priority for consumers today. Automakers are doing everything they can to eke out the best mileage possible. As we've reported, the redesigned Chevy Equinox crossover was expected to deliver 30 miles per gallon or 7.8 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. That figure would put it at the top of its class. But now GM says the CUV will do even better. The company's revised its initial estimate and now expects the Equinox to hit 32 miles per gallon. That's only 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers. These scores are achieved with the base four-cylinder engine. The final EPA rating is expected shortly. Coming up next, to look at the high-performance version of the 2010 Ford Taurus. We'll be right back after this. Changing tires out here could be dangerous, but with these tires, I don't need to worry. Bridgestone. Yesterday, we gave you a broad overview of the redesigned 2010 Ford Taurus. Today, we're taking a deeper dive into the high-performance version of the car. The average person has probably never heard of it, but enthusiasts all know that the show is a car to be reckoned with. Two decades ago, Ford dropped a powerful Yamaha-built V6 in the Taurus sedan, 
and the show or super high output was born. With 220 horsepower and a five-speed manual transmission, it was a real sleeper. But enough history, the show is back with more features, technology, and performance than ever before. The most important thing about the new car is what's under the hood. 2010 shows are powered by a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 with twin turbochargers and a direct fuel injection. It delivers an estimated 365 horsepower. Ford is touting the engine's output and economy, claiming that it has the power of a V8 and the efficiency of a V6. Rounding out the drivetrain, the car comes standard with all-wheel drive and a six-speed automatic transmission. To further set the show apart, Ford throws in a sport-tuned suspension, standard 19 or optional 20-inch wheels, and chrome exhaust tips. An optional performance package is also available. Among other things, it recalibrates the steering and gives the car a shorter final drive ratio for faster acceleration. The 2010 Taurus show should start arriving at dealerships this summer with a base price of about $38,000, including destination charges. But without a Yamaha engine under the hood and a no manual transmission offered, diehard fans of the original show may think this is an imposter. But its sleek body and 365 horsepower will probably create a whole new generation of enthusiasts. And that's it for today's top news in the global automotive industry, but don't forget to tune in this Thursday for AutoLine After Hours. Join John and his buddies Jason Vines and Tito DiLorenzo for another off-the-cuff discussion about anything and everything automotive. That's every Thursday evening starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time or 2300 hours GMT for all of you international viewers. Anyway, that does it for today's program. I'm Murray Feldman, Fox 2 News in Detroit, filling in for my friend John McElroy. Thanks for watching. John is back here tomorrow. Visit our website for even more great content all week long. Auto Line Extra, John's Journal, Podcasts, and even more. So click over and get the inside view at AutolineDetroit.tv.